Now we're going to talk about the complex plane and how complex numbers can be visualized and plotted in the complex plane. A complex number is typically written in this form, a plus bi. For example, you could write 2 plus 5i. That would be a complex number written in this form, a plus bi form. And in this case, the a is 2 and the b is 5. And every complex number has what we call a real part, in this case 2, and an imaginary part, in this case 5i. And you typically write it like this, the real part first, and then plus or minus, as the case may be, and then the imaginary part. Now, if the real part were zero, in other words, if you just had the imaginary part, so if a were zero, then you're, what you have is said to be a pure imaginary number. And if the imaginary part is zero, so if b were zero and you just had the real part, that would be a real number. And if you have them both together, that's a complex number. And written like this, a plus bi, that's what we call standard form. The standard form for a complex number, a plus bi. And if you're doing a math problem that has a complex number as the answer, you typically want to write it that way, some real number plus another real number times i. Now we can plot complex numbers. We can graph complex numbers. You can plot numbers on a number line. If you have a real number, you can just plot that number, just draw a little point on the real number line. Well, complex numbers need to be plotted in a plane. To visualize complex numbers, mathematicians use a real number line like this and an imaginary number line like this at right angles to each other. And those two number lines at right angles define a plane, which we call the complex plane. And just as you can use a number line to picture where the numbers are, if you have real numbers plotted on a real number line, the number line helps you see them and helps you understand them, and understand them better by giving you a visual picture of where the numbers are and where they sit in relation to each other. Well, complex numbers can be seen also in the plane, in the complex plane. And you can see where they all sit in the plane and where they sit in relation to each other. And we'll look, look at some examples here. Here we're told to plot the following numbers in the complex plane. And we're given five numbers here. Each one has a name, A, B, C, D, and E. And we're going to plot all of these. So let's look at the first one, A, 3 plus 2i. 3 is the real part. So that means along the real axis here, we need to find the 3. So from the origin, we're just going to go to the right 3. So we count 1 unit, 2 units, 3 units to the right. That puts me right here on my real axis. And the 2i, that means 2 on the imaginary axis. So from the origin, I'll count upward 2 units on the imaginary axis. And that puts me right here on the imaginary axis. So this is the point right here. This is the answer. I'm going to write an A next to that. So that's point A. And you can see I went 3 over and 2 up. So 3 along the real axis and 2 along the imaginary axis. Or if you want to, you could think 3 here and 2 here. And then you end up at that point like that. All right, point B is negative 2 minus 4i. So negative 2 on my real axis, I always start at the origin, and so I go negative 2 there, and then minus 4i takes me down to there. So this point right here is point B. Now C here, 3i, this is just a pure imaginary number. I'm going to start at the origin and just go 3 along the imaginary axis. So point C is right up here. It's a pure imaginary number. There's no real part, and that's fine. Uh, D, point D, is negative 4 plus i. So negative 4 is the real part. So starting at the origin, I go 4 to the left, and then plus i takes me up 1 
so I end up right here that's point D and point E is 4 minus 2.5 I that's positive 4 on my real axis and then minus 2.5 is going to take me to here I don't end up exactly on a grid point and that's okay so that's point E so there's five points plotted in the complex plane so there you have it. Just like we can plot real numbers on a real number line, we can plot complex numbers in the complex plane. And it gives us a visual picture, a mental image, which helps us understand them better and helps us see things more clearly. And in, and in particular, we can literally see the real part and the imaginary part of each of these numbers.